Hello and welcome back. So today we'll be talking about coffee. And not just any coffee. We're going to be talking about the world-famous Gona coffee. That's right, this one. And where it comes from. Okay, so before you can call coffee Gona coffee, it has to come from a very, very specific place. The coffee beans have to be grown in Hawaii. Number one. Number two, not just anywhere on Hawaii, but it has to be on the big island of Hawaii. And number three, not just anywhere on the big island, it has to be grown on the west coast, also known as the Kona area. And let's take a look where this word Kona comes from. Okay, so let's look at let's look at the map of of Hawaii and see the geography and where we are exactly. So Hawaii, the big island in red, if we magnify it, it looks like that. So that you see if you see the white space this white space over here that's the big island it's this island that's been enlarged and the red area is the North Kona district okay that's this one North Kona district and the South Kona district is this one and these are the areas where you grow uh, Kona coffee okay now if you look at the map you can see that uh, there are several extinct volcanoes in the area. Hualale and Mauna Loa are where they generally grow the, the world-famous Kona coffee. Now, let's take a look at the word Kona and where it comes from, okay? Because this is a very, very common word throughout the Austronesian languages. Uh, it can be found all the way to Madagascar, and it's very commonly used in Malay, although you wouldn't recognize it because of all the sound changes uh, and, and the, the evolution of these uh, of, of the pronunciation over many, many thousands of years. But we'll take a look at where it comes from. And I think you'll be shocked at, uh, that your language actually uses this word a lot as well. Okay, So let's look at the word uh, Kona and see where it comes from. Uh, but first things first, Okay, Kona is also the location of the famous Beach 69 and the Ironman World Championship, just to let you know. Okay, So that's some idea where we're going. Now, onto the west coast of Hawaii. So what does Kona actually mean? Okay, so if you see a, a Hawaiian dictionary will list this Kona in Hawaiian means the leeward side of an island. Yes, I can hear your blank stares and, and all that. Leeward literally means basically it's the side of the island that is shielded from the wind. So the windward side is where the wind blows in. Okay, so on a, if you look at a big island like like this, so in Hawaii the leeward side, the Kona side, is the one that's protected from the wind, and that's the west coast, okay? The wind normally flows in from the northeast, and that's called the Ko'olau, okay? So the Ko'olau is the windward side, that's where the wind comes in. And why is this important? Because Ko'olau is where the rain usually comes from. And the Kona side usually has less rain and is drier. That's why people plant coffee there for the, for the weather and all that. So the drier side is generally the Kona side, the wetter side, and the windier side is the Ko'olau. All right. So let's look at the Kona side and uh, some very, very interesting things going on there phonologically. All right. So the word Kona in Hawaiian, if you remember from the previous videos, uh, the K in Hawaiian is usually the T in Maori. So in Maori, it's actually Tonga. Okay, and yes, I know what you're thinking, as in the country called Tonga, Tonga. So in, in Hawaiian, Kona means the leeward or the protected side of the island. In Maori and also in Tongan, okay, Tonga means the south. Because in general, I think in, because of the, the word uh, Kona or Tonga changes depending on the geography of where you are, which island you are and your location. And then you, of course, use a different, uh, different word, uh, sorry, a different um, uh, meaning of the word. So in this case, in Maori and Tongan, uh, Tonga means the south because the wind generally comes and the rain in these areas comes from the north. So that's why it's south. And where do they come from? If we go back five, six thousand years, it comes from the proto austronesian word Tonga. So Tonga, Tonga, Tonga. And where does it, you know, where, what are the other words, the other languages that have this word Tonga? Well, Malay has Tonga, which means the middle, right? Indonesian also has the word Tonga. Uh, if you look at the word, sort of the meaning is like protected and, and, and generally, if you look at the, the, the islands of, of, say, the big islands, for example, the coastal areas are the ones that get the most wind and rain. So therefore, the middle part is the most protected one. That's why, that's why the connection between Tonga and Tonga, right? And moving further along the other islands, this the same word is found over and over again in different tra- permutations. So for example, in Ilocano, you have Tenga. In the northern part of the Philippines, in the south, you have 
Tunga in uh, Cebuano. And if you move along to all the way to Madagascar, you have Teraten, which means the middle or halfway or half, same thing. A little bit funny thing happened with Tagalog uh, as the languages evolved. Tagalog decided to switch the T with the ng and you get gitna, which also comes from tenga. A simple word, you know, tenga evolving into leeward side, uh, the south, the middle, all these words all come from the same origins. Please like, share and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed this and I promise I'll come back with longer videos in future, okay? Alright, so bye for now. Thank you.